Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the five things to have in your makeup bag. Um, it's getting hot, it's borderline almost summertime. I know in New York right now it's sweltering. I'm hot, <laughs> my fro is hot. Um, and yeah, you don't want to travel around with all that stuff. So today's video, five things to have in your makeup bag. It's going to be quick. One, two, three, and yeah, thanks so much for watching and stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing which I cannot stress enough, I don't. I think everybody stresses it a lot, um, is sunscreen. I mean, if you're the type of person that goes out in the sun a lot or minimal like I am, you still need to protect your skin. Uh, those rays are pretty powerful even if it's cloudy out. Uh, so I, and I'm very passionate about it because I had a personal experience with it and it's just, it's major, 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 major. It doesn't matter what complexion you are. African-American, Hispanic, Caucasian, whatever the case may be, you need protection, you need protection. So that's number one. I won't consider it a makeup item, but it definitely is a summer staple. So we're going to start off with a sunscreen. This one's from The Body Shop. This is the Vitamin C Daily Moisturizer SPF 30. I really do like this one. If you tend to get oily, I guess you should stay away from something like this. I mean, this is more of a brightening effect kind of a sunscreen. But I really enjoy this one, and it smells like oranges, like really, really good oranges. <laughs> but I really do like this one, and it's SPF 30, which is solid. You should always remain SPF 30 or higher, which is going to go against what I'm saying right now. But when I don't feel like looking too, you know, brighter or glowy or dewy, because I tend to wear a base that makes me look like that anyway, I use the Olay Complete, which this is really nice. It doesn't leave a white cast or um, anything like that that you're not going to be a fan of. I really do like that product. It's really good. I mean, it's only SPF 15, but I mean, it's 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 okay. It's okay. You should definitely look for something SPF 30 or more, but it's okay. And I'm honest to God, I try to stay away from the sun, <laughs> which is bad, but you know, I try to stay away from the sun. So this is all right for me. Plus my next product which is actually we're gonna start with product number one because I'm always drop it. Um product number one. So product number one, this is my makeup bag. Isn't that cute? Um my makeup bag. So product number one is a tinted moisturizer. I honestly don't know how women do it. I don't know how women can just wear a lot of foundation or or something heavy on their skin and I mean most women usually switch to something lighter so I definitely recommend you switch to something lighter or if you're really really loyal to your foundation just mix it in with some moisturizer and try to you know make it more breathable I guess so I am obsessed I've been wearing this for years I literally don't wear anything else unless I'm going out or beating my face or you know where I need to wear actual foundation or if I'm taking a picture or whatever but um Typically, I really stay loyal and true to this. I wear the shade Cuba, which is medium three. Um, this is an original, original favorite of mine. I, I can't stress it enough. If you're having trouble finding a skin tone shade that works for you, or if you're looking for a tinted moisture shade that you don't really love and you're still on the hunt, this is something I should totally try out. Because I am, when I say this is holy grail that's really what it is holy grail i don't wear anything else on my face and this does not break me out i have very sensitive acne prone skin does not break me out in the least bit so totally try it tinted moisturizer is number one number two is going to be a concealer now for all those girls that have gorgeous skin already jealous but they're out there um, those girls that have gorgeous skin um opt for a concealer just so you don't have to wear all that other stuff especially if you're wearing sunscreen that's already something on your face so you should go for a nice creamy concealer or an opaque concealer depending on what you're trying to cover up i am a huge fan of glossier and once again they have a great product shocker um and this is their stretch concealer it's like this is the little pot concealer that they have i'm in the color dark and it's just a really creamy buttery very um I don't know just a very nice texture and it's just really nice because it blends really seamlessly with the skin so I feel like this is a really good summer staple it might like you know melt off a little bit if you do not set it um, so I definitely recommend setting it but this is a great product if you really want to cover very minimal um, I really do like this one this is a great product another glossy hit for me which is like always for me all right, so number three, why does it keep dropping? I'm back. 
So product number three for me is going to be, let's see, it's a bronzer and or a highlighter, or if you're like me and you can't really decide, get something that has everything in it. This is the e.l.f. Warm Bronzer. Um, and yeah, there's really nothing to say about this product that hasn't really been said already. I mean, this is a great buy for $4. I mean, I've been using this for a little while now. I'm on like my third palette. Um, I stopped using it for a little while, but then it, I always gravitate back to it because of just how simple it is to use. And these four colors are just great solo or even great together. So it's like, it's just really a win-win. And I love this whole like NARS kind of packaging. It's really, really sturdy, especially with me. I destroy everything that gets in my bag. All my makeup gets destroyed somehow. And this really lives up to it. And it's just great. And uh, you know, for one of those things that you can either bronze or just highlight, usually I like to choose one because I just, I don't know, I'm very lazy, <laughs> I guess is the word for it. So I like to choose just one. I usually I highlight. And this gold color right here is just like the perfect color to highlight. And when I mean, you mix them all together, it's just a great bronze color as well. So this is just a win win. One, two, three, bam, bam. So three would be a bronzer. Okay, bronzer or highlighter or whatever, if you have a palette that has both or whatever the case might be, just pick one because, you know, you don't want, you don't want to do too much. Summer is fuss free. It's supposed to be that way. So, uh, product number, what are we on? Four? Product number four. Let's see. Um, is mascara because we're girls. We can't live without mascara because we need it. Um, but, yeah, I can't live without my mascara. I mean, sometimes I do. If I'm really, 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 really lazy. Sometimes I live house without mascara, but I typically like to wear it. It's the Extra Super Lash. This is my favorite, 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 favorite from the drugstore because it's really good and it's really affordable. I mean, it comes in a two-pack at Target, two for five dollars. Like, I mean, it's like a freaking steal. I don't really know why people wouldn't even try this out, but um, when I reviewed it, a lot of women feel like I do where it's a great freaking mascara and it's one of those mascaras that are not really talked about. I don't really know why, but... I definitely recommend ladies going to try this out because you'll be so surprised at how good this is. And it's so freaking simple. It's simple. Look at this brush. Look at this brush. Very simple. Very simple cone shape, bristle like brush, but it just does does numbers. So yeah, um, product number four would be a really good mascara that you trust and love like I do. Um, Alright, and number five is a lip product. <laughs> Go figure. Because... I just feel like a lip product is really easy, it's really wearable, and it doesn't require too much as long as you're not dealing with like a liquid lipstick or a lipstick that, you know, if you eat something or you drink something, it comes off. Who wants to deal with that? I know in the summertime, I'm always eating, always drinking, so I don't want something that I have to be like, oh my god, a piece may have come off, or oh, I have to touch up. I don't want to touch up nothing. So, <laughs> once again, it could be me just being lazy, but I don't know. I feel like other people think the same way I do. Okay. Um, so my favorite right now is the Lip Stain. This is Laura Mercier Lip Stain and Mulberry. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite. Ah, I'm getting hot. <laughs> um, this is my favorite, favorite. It's like this um, berry, a brownish berry tone color. It's really, really, really fabulous on every skin tone. And this is something that I gravitate towards right now. This and um, uh, I love my cherrybomb.com. I mean, that's if I'm feeling like I really don't want nothing on my lips, but it really, this is really, really nice. Um, another glossy product, which is their Generation G, which I'm obsessed with. But we're not going to get into that because I could rant forever about how obsessed I am with this freaking lipstick, lip balm, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is in Crush, which is that pinky color. Ugh. I say, oh, when I say I'm obsessed, I'm legit obsessed with this, like, or, um, something else, like a, like a lip gloss like this, um, this is from Glamour Dolls, which is like a red, as you can see, my spectrum is usually in the red area, I like a lot of reds, not really a lot of pinks, but like more of leaning towards the reds or red browns or things like that, that's just my comfort zone, so, um, a lip balm like that works really well, and that's number five, now, I realize after I put all this together, I'm not talking about shine control, so we're going to pretend I didn't say five, we're going to put six or seven, um, but for powder for oily girls like myself, or it's summertime, so I feel like everybody gets a little bit of shine, you need a little pressed powder. I love the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder, this is just, don't mind my little carry bow on there, it doesn't come with that, I put that there, um, but 
Uh, just get a translucent powder. Any powder will do. I really like this one for the price, and it just does what it's supposed to do, and it is transparent. It doesn't leave like a white cast or anything on my um, skin, and I just really like it. I've been really faithful to this product, and it hasn't let me down or, or anything of the sort. I just hate the packaging. This is so flimsy as all hell, but, you know, uh, what can you do? I mean, you pay for what you get, right? I mean, I can't really complain, right? Ah! <laughs> and last but not, well, no, not last but not least, but, and on the same shine control, um, same shine control, Wave. We're talking about these shine erasers, which this is another e.l.f. product. I only bought this because, why did I buy this? I don't even know. I think I just wanted to try it. And um, these are great for what they're supposed to do. Absorb oil and uh, lessen the shine and uh, really easy to use. And I have no complaints about this. They do what they need to do. So I really like them. And they're quite, you know, it's a thin packaging. So sliding it in my purse is no big deal. It doesn't take up any extra room or anything. So the last thing that really doesn't have to involve makeup is a roll-on perfume. Uh, I just, in the summertime, I feel like since we're sweating and we're moving around and we're outside and we're socializing and all these things, I feel like our scent just kind of leaves us. We put it on in, you know, in the morning or whatever and after work or after, uh, you know, Jones in session with your friends or whatever. You just don't smell like what you left the house. So I like a rollerball perfume on me just so I can, you know spritz or roll it on and you know hit my neck and because you know I just I like to smell good okay so I always think of rollerball perfume is something that every girl needs because why not we like to smell good all right and that's that's it I have no more in my bag that's it um so yeah that's the top five things for summertime in your makeup bag and yeah thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more videos and yeah have a good one take care